Welcome Capricorn to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 24th of July. The Sun has made its way into the part of your situation to do with very deep transitions, quite Plutonian, the eighth house. But this can be where we become much more conscious of our deepest and sometimes hidden desires. Because you can be such a practical sign and very conscientious and inclined to take on responsibilities. Perhaps you'll be provoked over the next month to dive deep, to understand about desire, particularly with Venus in retrograde in this area and in that link with the North Node still this week. Anything to do with desire around living in quite the right accommodation could be emphasised. But right at the start of this week, there could be a bit of a rebelliousness on your part as Mercury clashes with Uranus on day one and two. Uranus is in the part of your situation to do with being a much freer spirit, much more spontaneous, bringing out the rock and roll in you, whereas Mercury, the Sun and Venus are asking you to be very aware of those things that are changing. But the eighth house can be about long-term finance. And to be honest, Capricorn people have a, a very solid appreciation of security and transitions, but usually on a step-by-step -step basis. The eighth house, however, is very mystical. And sometimes we can be pulled into doing things or making changes which don't necessarily seem very logical or practical because the senses are driving us that way, even if we're not totally understanding the whole picture. So something a little bit more erratic or compulsive is possible right at the start of this week. Then on Tuesday, the quarter moon in the deep sign of Scorpio clashes with the sun. So what we have here, as far as you're concerned, is an 11th, 8th house right angle. Around the friendship group, if you do feel that someone lacks devotion to the group or is a bit too controlling or possessive or there's some games going on or maybe there's some politics that you find to be unpleasant, I think this is going to give you a lot of understanding of the machinations that are playing out. But it is true that from Monday through to Thursday, Mars, the planet that's exalted in your sign, does continue its opposition with your ruler. Now that reached a peak last week on the 20th and if it has felt difficult to balance your individual expression and ideas with uh, finding a way to get them across to someone that you want to hear them, that wouldn't be a surprise. I also feel that if you found traveling recently quite frustrating whether it's the ticket inside of it, whether it's the actual movement around, whether you found that there's been a fault with your uh, vehicle recently, none of this would be a particular surprise. Or if you've had problems with technology, because the third, ninth, house angle has created the desire to crack on with things, Mars in the ninth house, and Saturn's been there, loving, slowing it all down. I wonder if Saturn is secretly up there, very mischievous. I think you would be able to make a decision on that being ruled by Saturn. And of course, you do have a terrific sense of humour. But from Thursday, Mars speeds away from the opposition to Saturn, creating some liberation. But it also then forges an amazing link to Jupiter. Mars and Jupiter in a trine is one of the most energising, self-confident and go-getting uh, influences one could possibly have but they're sharing your earth triplicity Jupiter in Taurus Mars in uh, in Virgo so if you really want to get something moving after this recent frustration that Saturn has been creating in its oppression of Mars that's a great signal but also on Friday Mercury moves into the part of your situation to do with travel and higher education and anything to do with uh, perhaps agreements and documentation joining up with Mars. But it is going to be there through to the 5th of October because of the pre-shadow, the retrograde and the post-retrograde period. So it's going to be a very intense time. If you are someone who is wanting to open up your world somehow or travel, attend a higher ed educational institution, even though Mars and Jupiter give you a lot of thrust at the end of this week, and Mercury can initially help you to really concentrate 
on grappling with the details. Just be aware that it might not go quite to plan over the coming weeks. Just the other thing to say is the Sun does forge quincunx with Saturn this week from the middle of the week. So though Mars moving forwards is going to be helpful and it's linked to Jupiter is awesome, it's not a complete panacea in terms of energy. So the Sun in the sign of Leo obviously radiates a fantastic amount of charisma but in the 8th house what you're looking for there is very a very deep connection a real deep meaning and Saturn in your third house is about your thinking and conditioning is your thinking and conditioning from the past stopping you from forming a, a very intimate relationship having a very successful sex life making the most of your commercial and and uh, more uh, entrepreneurial uh, qualities that could be what Saturn does bring to this week as well so a, a fair bit of soul searching but definitely some opportunities for liveliness and more freedom as this week draws to a close I'd just like to share with you a truly wonderful opportunity year 2023 is speeding by and year 2024 is racing towards us if you would like to order your year 2024 personal horoscope forecast based on your birth data, your unique birth data, I will provide for you in my 30% off package your character analysis report, your life roadmap. Getting an understanding of your life roadmap is really important because we all have patterns that evolve in our life and the more intimately we can understand why these influences occur, the more we can start to tackle them in a constructive way. Please see the link below for more, but these are produced solely for the person I uh, create them for, so no two charts are the same and a really brilliant opportunity for you. Mm -hmm.